gosh. How amazing is this? How's it going, guys? It's been a while. But a today, while. we're excited. <laughs> we are getting away with no kids. Thanks to our amazing friend who's watching them. You're amazing. We're not getting away far, we're getting away just enough. First stop, Dollar General. Here we go. So, drinks. Let's get off the fun. Lots of people out with cigarettes all the time. It's so much fun to go shopping without kids. That's the best part. Ooh, candy. We need candy? Candy. Candy. We need candy. Ooh, what do you get here? Let's see. We got little heat bars and little bars. Oh, that's a good idea. What do you want? Bars. Oh, we want Hershey's with almonds? Yes. So, heat bars, Hershey's with almonds. I wanted to get. Um... Because we had the movie, so we need to think of what we want for the movie. Yes, I like was part. thinking about, I don't um, see it. See. Um, milk duds. Do you see milk duds? Mm, yep. Okay. Let's grab two boxes. Two boxes. What? Two boxes. Do we want any cookies? Mm, I don't want to dollars. I mean, kind of bad. Not. Let's see. Well, we could always pick up, see what dessert they have at the place we're getting food. Yes. That's she's smart. Let's see. Oh, we're trying to find popcorn. That Where's the popcorn? This is like the healthy-ish food. Not this item, but this side. See, it's green, so it's healthy. Mm, spin it around, pop one. Oh, sorry. See, the thing with Dollar Generals, it's kind of like parkour. Things don't, oh, here we go, right here. Oh, look, there's one left. Perfect. Movie theater with butter. All right, let's go check out. I think we're good. <laughs> yeah, I think, I think that's enough, so let's go check out. All right, we decided to pick up dinner. The good part about where we're going is close to our house, so we can get really good food. We've never been to Gary's in China Grove. Mm. It's magically delicious. So we, because we got an Airbnb close to home and we wanted to um, just really spend time in the airbnb we decided to you'll, take you'll, you'll, dinner home. you'll understand if you, just give us a few minutes we're gonna, we're gonna run in here so much cool memorabilia coke pepsi cheer wine because carolinas Guys, we're here at Cherry Tree. We're staying at Lucy Luce. Come on, let's take a look at this. It's pretty awesome. Oh my gosh, this is amazing. The pictures do not do this justice. That's right, folks. We're staying in a Hobbit house. Who is this? Look at the circle door. Oh my gosh. How amazing is this? And it's built into a hill. This is one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Got this cool couch. Oh my gosh. And then it's inside the sliding door. And the DVD player. That's very important for later. Oh, this is so nice. Oh my gosh, this is actually pretty big. Yeah. Like a lot bigger than I thought. 
So, just kidding. Oh, that's nice. This is pretty amazing. Oh, I'm super so, so excited. Like, how cool is this? Is that a map of Middle Earth? No. Oh no, it's North America to look like Middle Earth. How cool is that? Or just the world? Never mind. Sorry, guys. Took me a minute here. That's pretty amazing. All right. Does this door open? I think so. All right. We have to experience this. Ooh. Oh my gosh. All right. This is just that part, right? I mean, you got to get the whole Lord of the Rings Hobbit <laughs> experience going on. Oh my gosh. So cool. And they have a little fire pit. That is awesome. Oh, look, a little hammock. Huh. Okay, guys, we are at Cherry Tree Resort. It is known for their tree houses, but. And for the past couple years, they built these epic hobbit houses. And I'm probably going to fall off this hammock. There's one here and then one up there. But they're known for, let's take a look behind me, tree houses. Like, they're everywhere. There's one there. There's one somewhere in there, that You're direction there. behind us. But for our 15th anniversary, we could not get away like we wanted to. And we were at a Cannapolis Cannonballers game over the summer. We saw them advertising this. We're like, we should do this. So it's so close it's, to home. It's a night away from the kids, and it's mm -hmm. just a fun experience. It is. We're just super so excited. So we're about super this. excited, and I think like maybe after dinner we'll take a little walk and explore the property and other yeah, options. They have trails that you can walk around, but so, this is the one we want to do the most because we are huge Lord of the Rings and Hobbit fans. So the fact we get to stay in a Hobbit house, and yes, we brought Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit. They have a DVD player, not sure if it's Blu-ray, so we will either be watching the Hobbit or Lord of the Rings tonight because how can you not stay in a house like that and not watch Lord of the Rings or The Hobbit? We're gonna get our stuff. Just had dinner. The burgers from Gary's are just as good as their barbecue. It was delicious. Now we're gonna take a little walk around the property here and see what we can find. Yeah, walk in the woods and look around and yeah. yeah. Got all these little paths like Lead up to the other tree houses. That's one you can see in right there. All these are on Airbnb. It's pretty awesome. It's just so beautiful. And super close to the house, which is even better. So I'm thinking next time we're thinking about maybe bringing the kids here to kind of like stay the night and experience. Oh, cool. this look, oh I got like an amphitheater here. Check that out. <clears throat> It's pretty awesome. Yeah, experience maybe a tree house or hobbit house. The hobbit house we're actually staying in has a pull out couch. So um, if we wanted to book it again, the kids yeah. could definitely um, come next time. Because they have two of them. They got a smaller one that's like Mimi something, I think. <coughs> right. And then this one's Lucy Lou's. It's the bigger one designed for a family. Smaller family, smaller, family. smaller party. Yeah. Hi, there's somebody in the guest book that said their daughter had their 14th birthday party slumber party here. I mean, that'd be pretty epic. <laughs> I mean, these tree houses are Although, next time we come, I want a tree house. Yeah, next time we come, probably with the kids, we're, we're probably have... to do the tree house. Oh my gosh. They even got the. Okay, hey. Oh, that's mud. Yep, and I'm in flip flops because. Check this out. It's got a balcony and swings under there. Love that. Oh, sweet. How cool it is. Sorry, the sun, it's like seven o'clock. So the sun's kind of setting, so but it is pretty awesome. I can't remember. Oh my gosh. Alright guys. This is like like if you ever watch Treehouse Masters, it's pretty much this is what these are. They're not they're built by the family here, but that's pretty much what they are. And they're amazing. And they have air conditioning. Very important part, especially here in the Carolinas. <clears throat> but they all have like little fire pits too. So you could like make a weekend of it. Especially if you don't want to go camping. Because like our kids keep wanting to go camping. And I've been camping when I was little. 
she's never gone camping, I don't think. Well, maybe she was her mom, I don't remember. But um, this, this is how I would go. And they've got more over here. Oh, they got so many of them. One there, and there, and down there. But it's just, it's so beautiful. So, and there's one over here. So awesome. So amazing. And, yeah. <coughs> and, oh, this really wasn't that bad, like, the book wise. It's about as much as a nice hotel, but it's so much better. Why book a nice hotel when you get a tree house or a hobbit house like we did? Yeah, so, um, <clears throat> yeah, this is super nice and just the atmosphere and the, pretty, the nature of it all. It's pretty relaxing. Yeah. And amazing. Well, we're gonna walk around a little more and enjoy this. Cause, yeah. It's just beautiful. So beautiful. Like, not only the woods, but you have this really cool open field. So you can take like, some family photos or something while you're here. I don't know, maybe. Don't quote me on that because this isn't, you know. But it's pretty amazing. The coolest part is about the Hobbit house we're staying in. Right there is they actually built, put grass on top of it. it is, they made this hill like this. Like, you guys can look them up on Instagram and what? Facebook. Yeah. But here's the other Hobbit house over here. That's the other one. And this is the one we're still in. It's, it's pretty good size. I've got enough room. Like, it's not a hole. All of our family can, our family can be here. And they got this really cool hammock. It's pretty awesome. Oh my gosh. Just, it's pretty amazing. But the family that built this place is just. My gosh, I'd never leave. Yeah, they got a map, so let's go check that out. Are you safe? So there's the other Hobbit House people are there, so we're trying to be polite. But this is a cool map that ran into town. And it looks like so we're in the Carolinas. But they show maps of pins where everybody's safe. There's people from Canada. All sorts of places. How cool oh is yeah, that? all the way from Washington, California that stayed here. Alaska. Alaska. Even Hawaii. But check out this big one behind us. Let me stay in this one. Look at that. Look how cool that is. It's just pretty amazing. We're going to go explore a little more because there's some more tree houses this way. Oh, man. Okay. We have some good Houses. It's just so tucked away. It's just, oh my gosh, it's so awesome. More tree houses this way. I don't even know how many are on this property, but it is just like this is like the dream property. It's got woods and all this open field. It's just so beautiful. I mean, I've got to give you this beautiful lady. She's walking away. She's a fast walker. These are so amazing. Oh, this this is a big neck. And oh my. Yeah, I'd say the big neck's name fits. This is massive. I think this is the one we're probably going to want to get when we bring our kids here. Because... Oh my gosh, it's got... Oh, look at this. This thing's huge. Look, it's got... Oh, damn, yes, no. it's Miss Molly's. 
Okay. And then I think this is just. I don't know. I think that might be one. We'll take a look. Yeah, it's done. Give me your exercise gear. I don't need exercise. I get enough of work. <laughs> Ideas run around all day. Now, will I run around with the children? Oh, there's the firewood. There, Nick. Nick's. Wood so shack. one of the cool things is about this place is they have some younger kids and they're teaching them how to do stuff like there's s'mores that you can buy s'mores pack for three dollars and then their son check this out like this makes me love this place even more because they're teaching their kids at a young age how to do stuff like look at this it's, so one dollar per log and this is going for nick he is raising he is learning how to make money how cool is that so dollar log and you can have a fire Oh, they got a rope swing here. Like, this place is amazing. Oh, so this is the amphitheater. So this is, we were down there earlier. So this is the top of the amphitheater. They got this cool swing that, yep, I knew she was gonna do that. Like, we were just. <laughs> it's just the straps on top making the noise. You're, it's super safe. Like, it looks like you can have a wedding or something here, maybe. I don't know. Because we got, because the amphitheater's here. And there. And then they got this really cool little, what are these called? You know, I've done wet, several weddings, so I really should know what this called. What are these called? Uh, things that, I bet they do. I bet like, you do your, you, the thing, like the bride and the groom, wedding. and the pastor, priest, yeah. officiant. Which, I said, I, I do weddings. So if you ever need somebody. Yeah, because they, they have a... Yeah, like, it's pretty cool. You see our... There's ours right there. Right there. There's my car. Right there. Yeah, they, they, and they got this little awning thing. Well, also they do hay rods. Or something. Maybe they do something in the fall. Other cool thing is Patterson's Farm, a local farmer here, sets up a strawberry stand at the end of this. So there are a satellite store, they say. So this must be for, oh, church resort. So they must, this must be for when they do stuff. Oh, t-shirts, they must have an, they, maybe they do like an open house day or something. Maybe, or like an right, event. This is Sweet Ashley. Well, keep an eye out for that. Yeah, this is Sweet Ashley, which that is really cool. It kind of looks like a, like a Cape Cod, like, lighthouse thing going yeah. on. Yeah. It's just so cool. People are obviously saying that. And then there's another one over oh, here. Yeah. Trying to walk past the car. There's another one here. Nona's house. That's Nona's house. No, it's Nona's I mean, that makes house. sense. It's, it's a, like a little mother-in-law type thing. It's small and nice. Like, the, like the craftsmanship on these guys, like, I'm not kidding. Like, it is. <laughs> if you guys watch from my other channel, you know, I'm not the most talented person in the world. So I really do appreciate like okay, craftsmanship. Yeah. So like the family that runs this place is just, they've done an amazing job. But the thing we said earlier is, you know, a lot of people think, oh, we gotta go away. We gotta make this big thing. Yes, you should make a big deal about your marriage. Like this is our 15th anniversary. Yes. But we did something within our budget because this, I said, this is, I want to say it was like probably like what 180, not even uh, for a night. Yeah, it was the, somewhere like, between 180 and 220 for the night. Which um, and then there's the cleaning fees and different stuff like that. So it's all on Airbnb, right? But the main thing is like we're spending time together. Like this is 15, 20 minutes from our house. That's that's the really cool part about this for us. But that's the thing, like finding places near you to do stuff and just making the time. That's what this night and tomorrow is about for us just 15 years of marriage which does not feel like that at does all does not feel like that at all that we're just setting that time to be together yeah we're so, super excited we're super excited all right guys we're about to head home we want to do a little bit of a wrap-up for this video we did not film this part because we just wanted to have fun the coolest part about today is we got to meet the owner, one of the owners of Cherry Tree on our way out because they're selling strawberries from a local farm, Patterson Farms. Their satellite campus sells strawberries. We got to talk to him and just, it was amazing. If you guys haven't already figured out from this video, you need to go check out Cherry Tree. 
yes. for either one of the tree houses or the Hobbit house. We watched The Hobbit last night. It was amazing. Well, I fell asleep. She watched the rest of it. I will admit I it. But it was just <laughs> the whole experience is great. We're actually planning maybe, don't quote us on this, to bring our kids back there in the, in the fall, fall, maybe? Yeah. Because um, when I looked, um, they're pretty booked for the summer. So you definitely want to like plan your trips yep. in advance as much as you can. Um, but their fall was, was still amazing. open. So maybe closer to Hannah's birthday, um, yeah. we could kind of do a family trip for her birthday. So. Yeah. Today, though, the only reason we're jumping back on here now is we're about to go home. But today was one of the coolest days we've had in a long time. Yeah. We met the owner of almost every single place. The owner, well, we'll start with the owners. We started out, um, we went to the Rockwell Diner. That was just, just because that's where we ended up eating breakfast. It's good food. Yeah. Then we went to Holy Grind, which we know the manager there, he wasn't there. Um, then got, we went to, um, so there's this um, soap store um, that has assortment of soaps. All and, natural soaps. Yes, all natural soaps and bath bombs and shower um, fuzzies things and a, a slew of different things. We got um, to talk to her. And we got to talk to her and how she started making her soaps and stuff in the kitchen that's on the premises. And now it's at, her business it's has grown, grown and um, still local, but, you know, had a f bigger facility. So we got soaps, soaps, some bath bombs and shower cleanser stuff for sinuses because this year's been amazing. Then really feel ashamed of saying it's taken us this long to get there. We went to Goodman's Supply in China Grove, right up near our house. Uh, farm supplies and all that We've kind of stuff. We've been wanting to go there for years. We met one of the owners. He was amazing. He walked us around, talked to us about our chickens. He was like, let me sell you some more chickens. Like, we got five <laughs> now. Like, we want more, but we need a bigger area. He's like, just build a bigger coop. I'm like, next year. He's like, okay. So let me talk to you about the stuff we have here for your chickens. And just yeah. such a great guy. And then we went to, what was the outdoor store called? I feel horrible. Oh my gosh. An outdoor backyard, store. Backyard. Back something. Oh my gosh. I can't remember. So we were really sorry. Went in there. <clears throat> they sell. In Salisbury. In so Salisbury. It's, it's in downtown Salisbury. Yes. We will, when I post this video, I will put the names of the places we went to down yes. here. Because it's been such a good day that our brains are just like, oh my gosh. and over the, But they sell Yeti stuff. Beach and Barn, which is one of my favorite brands. It's out of Wilmington. It's a Carolina brand that's designed for basically farmers. People like it to be to us. Yes. We're, we're trying to be farmers. Okay? <laughs> we have five chickens. How many do you have? Don't quote me. I know a lot of you have more chickens. We're trying. But they sell Beach and Barn, which I was super excited because I found out Beach and Barn sells button ups and polos. They have all the hats. Right. There. They have Yeti stuff. That's and Black Rifle and Black. I saw the coolest mug I've ever seen in my life. It was Bigfoot, a tactical Bigfoot Black Rifle. Probably be back for Father's Day I, for I, him. I have to get it. <laughs> it was amazing. Well, and we also saw some, um, what are those, hammock type things. Yes. That we would probably be looking at getting for our house and would be helpful for Sarah. Yeah. Yeah. It's only for Sarah. For us too. <laughs> and it was really cool because the guy there, we were talking to her, him about our autistic daughter. And he's like, oh, yeah, for sensory, we I totally get it for hammocks. And it's just, this would be great for and since we have a big, we have a, you guys know we have a big wraparound porch and the one side has nothing but an old couch because somebody forgot to take it to the dump. So if we get rid of that, we can put a hammock up there, which would be great. And then we were on our way home. We're like, let's just drive around down to Salisbury. We wanted to look around and all of a sudden I look over, what is that? There's like this rail station something. And it was amazing. So we did this. I turned in the parking lot and we found Salisbury Emporium. Yeah, Antique Emporium. And oh my gosh. It, it was amazing. Very well priced antiques. Um, and then again, we, we went met, to go check out and we, we met, met the, the one, owners of the Emporium. She was one of the she, sweetest, like, like Hallmark movie Southern lady, like, says honey every other word. It was, she was, I love her. Like, I wish I could adopt her. Like just all the stories and that and, and then conversations they, and opinions that she have. It but, was but just then amazing. her husband comes around and like, hey, can I introduce you to some turtles? Because their son's forty one, so about my age. 
and she had they're selling all this turtle stuff now with cardstock because she when they opened them she kept the cardstock i'm like i have to come back and buy turtles now to add to the collection and then we were on our way out i said this day was just it was so amazing we went to the reason we went there is behind the parking lot it's Sorry, hold please. Um, well, there's a restaurant there. I'm just covering the camera. There's a restaurant there that we were checking out. Um, That's his card. And we kind of took a picture because we were like, oh, we'll be back. We weren't hungry because we're still full from our little brunch breakfast. Rail walk. That's what it's called. It's called Rail Walk. Yes. It's a Rail Walk restaurant and brewery. And then they have Rail Walk Studios and Gallery. And we got to meet Marietta Smith, one of the artists there. But the one guy we met, uh, Michael, dude, I'm, if you watch this, I am so <laughs> sorry. Plopless? 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 <laughs> he <laughs> is an amazing artist, and we got to talk about his art and one of the pieces we have in New Orleans, because we have this thing called the Dance Cathedral we got when we went to New Orleans several years ago for kids. And his art just we were drawn to it because it's, it's it reminds us of the street art in new orleans and like we got to talk to him about his style and of course kids and then he walked he gave us a tour of the whole studio and he showed us other artists that are there and talked about their work and it was just um it was just an so overall encouraging and just awesome amazing. and just to walk through an art gallery and really um being able to observe the pieces and have an artist there to kind of um yeah. help with that um and the type of we're in walmart parking lots so that's why there's randos walking in the background <laughs> what the type of um art and the type of way that they created the art whether it's pencils or spray paint or yeah, acrylic or watercolor his art <clears throat> we're gonna start following him on tiktok and instagram because his art is it's awesome like it's really cool but and there's another artist he showed us that uh, he did like some advertisements of it. I love vintage advertising. And just, like I said, today, this whole video, we hope that we encourage you guys to just go spend the day together. This is uh, our, our anniversary was last weekend, but right. it was Easter and Sarah's birthday is the day before. So we always try to do something for our anniversary the weekend before, weekend after. So that we were there for Sarah's birthday. But it was just so nice. The, Cherry tree was obviously the cherry on top, icing on the cake, the best part of the weekend. But today was just, it was so refreshing to get out and explore. Like a lot of times we look at stuff and like, oh, that's so far away. We stayed local. Everything we did today and yesterday was 15 minutes from our house. And it was nice just to explore and spend time together and explore the crevices of the area that we live in. and. Yeah. mom and pop shops and so good <clears throat> antique stores and just different places that you know sometimes can be harder with with kids um and then also opens up the door like oh we could definitely bring our kids or maybe this could be a one-on-one -on -one date with one of our children that they yeah. would enjoy we talked about maybe taking eddie to the art gallery he's very into drawing and all sorts of things like that mm. and so um he, that might interest him to check it out and meet artists and do those kinds of things. And we're just really excited. Yeah. So we hope you've enjoyed this video. I know it's been a while. Um, we're back. We're excited about just being back, doing more videos for you guys. And yeah, said, get out there, make time for each other. That's the main thing. Make time for your spouse. Just because you have kids doesn't mean your relationship needs to stop. When you have kids, you need to make sure you're carving out time, whether it's just going to get a cup of coffee or when the kids go to bed, I know this sounds crazy. Have dinner at the table by yourselves or dessert at the table by yourself just to talk, no phones. Right. It, we were able to talk and dream and talk about things that we want to do with the house and with the kids and just yeah. things that we want to do and grow and our passions. And it was yeah, just, it was, it was, so refreshing. It was refreshing. Yeah. yeah. So until next time, guys, we're the Paps. <laughs>